Hi. Um, so we've done the active range of motion for the shoulder, for the cervical spine, for the elbow, for the wrist, and all the regions, and we've done overpressure, resisted, and joint play uh, testing. Now we're going to be doing um, demonstrating capsular, non-capsular patterns, new tissue patterns, and contractile tissue patterns. And um, I'm not going to say whether they're what pattern they are because you're going to figure it out and answer the questions on Blackboard. So today we're going to start with fatty cervical spine. On the first part of the video, we, we, we showed how you go through the process. Now we're going to show what, the, what these limitations might mean. Okay, fatty, uh, what we're going to do is have fatty uh, look straight down in flexion. Great. So his range of motion is pretty good there. And back up. And then we're going to do extension. And it's, so it's limited. His extension, cervical spine extension is limited and uncomfortable, right? It's uncomfortable. Now, Fatty, could you turn your head to the left for me? I'm going to rotation. The rotation looks pretty good. And we're going to do a rotation to the right. And that looks pretty good. Great. And back to center. Now what I'd like you to do is laterally flex your head to the left. And that looks really good. And to the right. And that looks limited and painful. So after I've gone through range of motion of the cervical spine, I've noticed a couple areas of limitation. And how I want to uh, reinforce that and, and to find out more about it is I'm going to lay fatty down. I'm going to do some overpression in different directions. Should we lay down for it? Great. Okay, so, so I know from what I've seen him doing active range of motion, it's limited in lateral flexion to the right and extension. So I'm going to leave those movements to last. I'm going to do some overpressure. Leave those movements to last. So I'm just going to double check. I'm going to do flexion. Flexion is good with overpressure. Great. I'm going to do lateral flexion to the, to the left, and that's good. I'm going to do rotation to the left, and that's good. And overpressure and to the right. So that's all good. But let's see what happens when I do some overpressure to the right here on um, lateral flexion. Well, that's getting limited, and I feel it's kind of jamming. It's uncomfortable. Is that sore fatty? Mm -hmm. That's causing discomfort on the right side. There's no pulling on the left, but it's uncomfortable right in the posterior aspect of the neck and the, on the right side. Great. So we're going to do some more pressure and extension and see if that follows uh, discomfort as well. Fatty, could you come up so your shoulder's just off the table? A little bit further. Great. So we're going to do extension and just nice and slowly and lots of respect for the client, not uh, ramming through it. And how's that? That starts to get uncomfortable right about there. I'm feeling that's uncomfortable, and it's, and it's a little hard to move it right there. Okay, and slide back on the table. Great. Now, <clears throat> I would follow up with resisted testing. And I can do all the resisted testing, and I can tell you now that with resisted testing, I found no limitation, no discomfort in all the ranges of limit on, on resisted testing. Joint plate testing, when I do some joint plate testing in the mid, mid uh, cervical spine, I find that it's a little hypomobile and irritated. Right there, Fatty, it's a little uncomfortable. A little uncomfortable there. It's really quite hypomobile. And there as well, right there. Okay, so we've got some limitations. We have limitation in right lateral flexion and extension. Rotation seemed to be okay. Uh, resisted testing was clear. So now what I'd like you to do is go to Blackboard and answer the questions about what kind of a pattern it is. Thanks.